The ocean can be a scary place. The darkest depth of water can have many freaky creatures because the unexplored water is still revealing new species we didn't know about. There are more than just some creatures under the water. Since the planet has been around for a long time, with rich history, there are also lost objects and forgotten ruins to be found. With new technology and with more people learning how to dive, we have been able to record what lurks below in the vast bodies of water yet explored. This video will show some of the discoveries that these divers won't forget. From whales chasing a boat to a creepy tank graveyard. These are 15 terrifying discoveries that nearly stopped divers' hearts. Horror Movie Madman If you ever went diving in this lake, hopefully you know about the secret that lurks at the bottom. If you've ever seen one of the mini Friday the 13th films, the sight would scare you at first, but then you would realize that it has to be fake an artist decided to make a replica of Jason Voorhees, which if you don't know is a villain from the famous horror film Friday the 13th, where a killer with a scary old hockey mask stalks camp counselors. Imagine diving and swimming up to this in the dark waters. At first, most people would think this might be a deceased body, which could scare anyone. This underwater statue was located in Crosby, Minnesota, and most divers would find out this exists before going into the lake so most divers won't have to worry about freaking out. Let's just hope the divers who do run into this freaky villain don't have a heart attack. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. And now it's time for our missing topic. We found this picture with a diver running into what looks like a dinosaur or the Loch Ness Monster. Do you believe in the Loch Ness? Maybe after looking at this photo, it'll change your mind. There are three possible explanations for this scary image. One is that the creature is a species yet discovered, which seems more plausible than it is the legendary Loch Ness, which would be the second option. Since the Loch Ness has never been confirmed it actually exists, we think it's the third explanation, which is that most likely this is a Photoshop or picture edit because the realism of the beast is not very realistic looking. Also, how would this photo be taken and recovered with such a large creature coming toward the divers? What do you think? You can join the conversation by using the hashtag missing topic in the comment section below. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Ocean Vortex Being a diver can be dangerous if you're not careful and you should be a decent swimmer as well because being caught in a vortex does not look fun. This group of divers were caught in a vortex current which is an underwater current that runs parallel to the surface of the water. These don't appear often and not much is known about them since only a few dive sites have them around the entire world. The only advice to escape these is to remain calm and attempt to swim out of it perpendicularly. How many people could remain calm while being in one of these is quite questionable. Seems like that would be hard to accomplish. These are professional divers and had help in case they couldn't get out, but all of them made it out okay and moved on with the rest of their diving. The whirlpools on average last up to 198 days, which means you have to swim out or you would be in big trouble. But the chance of swimming into one of these is very unlikely, so don't be too afraid. <laughs> diving under a Freightliner Just watching this video was enough to stop hearts Diving in busy waters can be dangerous, as this footage proves. In the St. Clair River in central northern America, a diver is swimming near the bottom and looks up seeing a massive black shape moving towards him. This would freak out a lot of folks who would think that it could be a shark or maybe a big fish. However, this was a ship. Some ships have big motors and this one started to hurtle towards him. Seeing the large propeller coming towards him must have caused a huge adrenaline rush as moving any closer would be a disaster. He safely stays low and lets the huge ship pass and his heart rate finally can go down from that moment he'll never forget. If he lost his grip or made any kind of panic decision, it could have cost him his life or a limb. Talk about a scary situation. <laughs> Megalodon Returns There was a big blockbuster film not long ago called The Meg, which was about what would happen if a Megalodon was discovered in present time. Megalodons, now extinct, are a popular shark known as the largest ever to exist. Scientists revealed that Megalodon ranged between 50 and 59 feet 
and the good thing is that they're not around anymore. They disappeared about 3.6 million years ago. In this footage, the people believe this shark swimming could be one of those prehistoric fish. The huge shark slowly swims in a circle near the upper surface of the water, while many were heard screaming in fear. Some people rushed to the side of the boat to get a glimpse of the huge animal. People have identified the creature as a basking shark. They're giant yet harmless and non-aggressive, and they can grow up to 26 feet long. Basking sharks are the second largest living shark after the whale shark, so you can see why this could be scary to people who don't know sharks well. You know how we said earlier that these megalodons can't exist? Well, this may not be entirely true, as the coelacanth, which was known to be extinct, was caught not long ago surprising scientists. So hopefully that only happened once, right? Mm -hmm. Sunken Prison Exploring an old sunken prison would be exciting for any history nerd if you know how to dive, that is. This old Soviet Union prison was abandoned in 1991 as the USSR was failing. It was built on the lip of a limestone quarry in which the inmates were forced to work. Without anyone to look after the groundwater that seeped into the former quarry, it soon filled up with water, creating a new lake. It still can be seen from land, but lots of it is still underwater and has many gorgeous ruins to look at beneath the clear waters. It's near a popular beach and tourist spot and many locals hang around this area with many people diving below to view the rich history. The area even has a nickname, the Blue Lagoon. You can see old mining equipment, machinery, barbed wire, brick walls, and prison cells that make for an interesting swim. Rumu isn't far from Estonia's capital city of Tallinn and can be reached by train, bus, taxi, or car if you want to check this out someday. <laughs> stranded in the Ocean There have been many films about being stranded in the middle of the ocean, so many people fear this because it can happen to anyone who ventures out to sea. This is what happened to Jacob Childs who had a huge air and sea search for him after he disappeared from a group of diving expeditioners off the southeast Queensland, Australia. The 30-year-old feared the worst as the sun began to set and recorded what he thought could be his final moments. In the footage, he starts to give up hope as he says, So that's it. The sun goes down. They won't do nothing. That's a wrap on old Jakey. A pretty grim realization that you hope won't be the last words you speak. He got lost after he surfaced to find there was no rope for him to hold on to and he began to drift. There was no line out the back of the boat for him to grab either. Lucky for him, he was rescued right before sundown by a plane flying over around eight miles from where they were diving. He was out there alone for six hours. Good thing a megalodon wasn't around. <coughs> Creepy cave sign. It's excruciatingly dangerous. I've lost 28 friends. Hearing that quote really puts into perspective how diving in these caves is risky, even if you're a professional diver. Guinea Springs in Florida is known for its beautiful and vast cave systems, and many of them underwater. Accident statistics show that divers perish in underwater caverns for just three reasons. Poorly use of the guideline, lack of sufficient reserve gas, and diving beyond the safe limits of the breathing equipment. Nine out of ten divers that perish from diving is because of the lack of any formal training in cavern or cave diving. So if you ever plan on cave diving, make sure you're very prepared. Devil's Eye is a cave with a round opening. 20 feet across and once you get 50 feet down, it has a scary sign that reads, Stop! Prevent your death! There's nothing in this cave worth dying for. It even has a grim reaper on the sign, so this would make most people turn around instantly. Getting lost in an underwater cave sounds like a nightmare that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. <laughs> Christmas tree under frozen lake Russians are no strangers to the cold. Their climate can be very extreme, so these divers wanted to go diving in ice water with a goal to put a Christmas tree under the ice. It wasn't a real tree, but an artificial one that a trio of Russian ice swimming enthusiasts put on the bottom of Lake Baikal, which is the world's deepest lake. Instead of scuba diving gear, they wore just trunks and socks and Santa hats as they danced underwater under the tree in very cold water. The water temperature was barely above zero degrees Celsius 
and an icy wind did not make them quit this unusual challenge as the air temperature above was negative 23 degrees Celsius. Even though the men have several years of experience, this dive was difficult because they had to swim under the ice, which is hard for any kind of diver level. After the swim, the plastic green tree was taken up to the surface so it wouldn't pollute the lake. While down there, they also removed car tires. The divers wanted to promote clean living with this idea that makes you cold just thinking about it. <laughs> giant Ray Swims With Shark This shark looks like it's teaming up with a giant manta ray. This could be the end of humanity if these rays ever learn how to fly. Good thing that will never happen, but being in the water and seeing this would be very traumatizing. Nikhil Chapana, a DJ, shared on Twitter a video of this exact scenario. These giant oceanic manta ray fish are most commonly found in tropical and subtropical waters. This footage was in the oceans of Trinidad. If you didn't know, there exists a species of rays that can grow up to a size of 23 feet and weighs as much as 3,000 kilograms. The good thing is these are not the same as stingrays and are much smarter so it's almost impossible to get hurt by one of these, but if a shark is on top, that could be a problem. Sadly, the ray's population has decreased drastically over the years due to overfishing. The price of their gill rakers on the traditional Chinese medicine market is one of the reasons for this, and hopefully, this majestic animal stays around longer for more amazing footage like seen here. What extinct animal would you bring back if you could? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Underwater Tank Graveyard Operation Smash was a huge training exercise held on Dorset Beach in April of 1944, weeks ahead of the Normandy landings during World War II. During this exercise, armored tanks were launched too far offshore, causing seven of the 32 tanks to sink, which caused six lives to be lost. Because of this tragic test, when the British and Canadians launched their tanks on D-Day, they didn't launch theirs offshore because of what they learned. If they didn't end up doing the vital strategy of launching the tanks, they might not have succeeded in taking the beach because they would have had a lot less ground support as most of the American tanks sank. This history now belongs to the ocean and nature has taken over the tanks while turning them into a bizarre sight that many people come to see. They're at a depth of 65 meters or so and have been there since September 8, 1944. So it's become an underwater museum that people call a graveyard of tanks. Hmm. Buried at Sea Atlantis, the famous fictitious underwater city, has been debated if it exists but most people think it was not possible because the Neptune Memorial Reef could be a small example of what this could look like. This reef was designed by Kim Brandel and is known as the Atlantis Reef Project. It's one of the largest providers of cremation in the US and the man-made reef is used as a graveyard for human cremains underwater. Families can select a design, add their loved ones' cremated remains and small mementos like fishing lures or crucifixes to the concrete. And a unique monument is placed by divers 40 feet below the water. These monuments are all massive and very heavy, over 50 tons. Even the smaller sculptures weigh 10 pounds. The Neptune Reef has safely written out hurricanes because of how huge these statues are. The reef was also designed to welcome fish and help the growth of corals. Since 2007, the reef has attracted 56 species of fish and the ecosystem has developed faster than everyone thought. If you discovered something like this while diving, it would be a surreal experience. But this place is popular and located off the coast of Miami, Florida, so you wouldn't run into this place accidentally. <laughs> Jacob's Well Jumping into water below is an activity when done safely can be very fun. But when you don't know the area or are unprepared, this can turn into a life-threatening situation. At least nine people have been killed diving into Jacob's Well, which is a spring that extends for over a mile below the surface into an intricate cave system. The amount of accidents has prompted some people to call it one of the most dangerous diving spots in the world. It has four caves deep in the well, some with openings so narrow that divers have to remove their tanks to get through. What makes these caves even scarier is this story from one of the divers who recovered one of the bodies, recalling, you couldn't tell up from down, left from right. You couldn't see your gauges. You were scraping the bottom and banging your tanks on the top. You had nothing to fall back on except your training. They were relieved to escape with their lives as this was not an easy task. These stories don't scare tourists easily though. Many people ignore the rules and dive straight into the current. That being said, if you're looking for a nice place to visit, 
Jacob's Wells is a sweet spot, but be careful. Follow the rules and avoid the caves you shouldn't dive in unless you're with a professional. <laughs> Killer whales chase boat. Killer whales are very intelligent animals and this boat is getting inspected by these curious creatures. Naturally, these whales can swim very fast as much as 56 kilometers a second, so catching up to a boat is no hard task. This boat is going around 25 miles per hour and these have no problem getting up right behind it. These animals typically swim at around three or four miles per hour. In this video, they're going about 25 miles per hour, but can reach up to 40 in short bursts, so they can swim an extra 15 miles per hour faster than what's in the video. Some people commented saying this might be a fake video, but it looks pretty real to most people. What do you guys think? Does this footage look fake at all? Why would someone fake this anyways? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Pillow lava. Lava divers are something you most likely haven't heard of because when you think about lava, you rarely assume it's underwater. Lava can flow underwater from fissures at rift zones. The surface of a lava flow cools much more rapidly underwater than it does in air. Pillow lavas form only underwater. These form when lava squeezes out like toothpaste through the thin skin of a flow and the surface of the new pillow quickly solidifies. Pillows can range up to one meter in diameter and these can be observed by diving down towards them. But this can be dangerous, so only professionals should attempt something like this. It would be an amazing sight to see lava underwater, but maybe we should stay in the comfort of our own homes to view these. See you later, alligator. When diving, an alligator would be one of the last things you'd want to see, right? Well, for those people that go diving for just that reason, to see an alligator on purpose? This almost doesn't seem real but people pay to swim with these scary creatures. They just have to make sure they take a few safety measures. Here are the rules. First, they must be with the alligator expert and only dive in winter months or when the water is cold since the animals have less appetite then. The diver must get in and out of the danger zone quickly as alligators attack at the water's surface often. Stay close to the riverbed because they attack objects silhouetted against the light as well. They also need to keep out of range from alligators' heads. They also have to look for smaller sized ones as they won't attack things bigger than themselves. Lastly, they should only get close to alligators that seem to be comfortable with divers. So basically, this process pretty much requires you to be very knowledgeable with alligators. We do not recommend trying to swim with these creatures. Maybe just go to the zoo and watch from a distance. Diving can still help us learn about new things lurking in the ocean, and something is found almost every day in this vast, unexplored world. There were many scary discoveries on this list. Which number was the most terrifying for you? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.